All right, today let's talk about optimizing videos in your Next.js application. So let's take a look at embedding a video from YouTube into a Next app. It's pretty straightforward. So here we have a server component that calls a function to get the appropriate YouTube URL. And this URL is then used as the SRC for the iframe. Notice I've added a few attributes to the iframe. The only one we really need in order to embed a video is the SRC, which specifies the URL of the page that the iframe is going to display. And the MDN documentation does a really good job of explaining the available attributes. So I'm gonna link that in the description below if you're interested in learning more about just the available attributes and their use cases. Um, but anyways, back in our page, we can wrap our component in a suspense boundary to allow a fallback loading UI skeleton. And this is going to just provide a better user experience as we wait for that URL to load. And that's it, our YouTube video is embedded. So now I already have this running locally, so let's check it out. You can see our custom loading skeleton, and then once the URL is loaded, the iframe's displayed. Now is also a good time to bring attention to a super underrated feature. Uh, the React DevTools supports toggling suspense fallbacks. So you can see here, if I select this box, the fallback state is shown, and this just makes creating fallback UIs a lot more convenient. So you can see that embedding externally hosted videos is honestly quite simple, but we might have instances where we want to embed a self-hosted video. Self-hosting videos may be more preferable for several reasons. You might want full ownership and control, or maybe you want to self-host for customization purposes, or just for performance and scalability considerations. So now let's take a look at the best way to embed a self-hosted video into our project. And for this, we'll be using the video tag. Um, for the sake of this example, I'm just using Vercel Blob and I've already created my blob database and uploaded the video that we want to embed. So now we have this video component, and this time it's fetching the video from our blob database, and it's going to display it in a video tag like this. There are some best practices we should keep in mind when using the native video tag. We should always include a fallback content inside of the tag for browsers that don't support video playback. So that's what this text is here. And it's also recommended to use standard HTML5 video controls for keyboard navigation and screen reader compatibility. And it's also good practice to use the track tag to include subtitles when possible. Since the video I'm uploading and embedding doesn't have any audio, I'm going to remove it so that's not really necessary. Now notice that I've also added a few extra attributes. Once again, MDN does a good job documenting these, so I'll link that below. But I want to call out a few of them. In this instance, I've added autoplay so that the video automatically starts playing. And when using this tag, it's also necessary to include the muted attribute to ensure that the video plays automatically in most browsers. And you should also add the plays in line attribute for compatibility with iOS. But again, if you want to read up more on these attributes, check out the MDN documentation. Now, similarly to the previous example, we can wrap this component in a suspense boundary in our page in order to show a fallback UI while it's loading. Okay, so now we can go back to our browser and check it out. And once again, we see our suspense loading state and then our video loads. Now at this point, I know the big question in everyone's mind is, oh my gosh, who are these super cute dogs? It is my dog cleaning his best friend's ears. Super cute, thank you. But anyways, that is the correct way to embed videos into your Next.js application using iframes and video tags. But I'm also going to link you to the Next.js docs for further learning. You can further optimize your videos by choosing the right format and codec, compressing your videos, adjusting the resolution, using a CDN. There is a variety of other steps you can take to further optimize videos. And our docs link out to some great resources if you want to learn more. We also link out to some great streaming platforms for integrating videos into your next project, including a Next video component, which is built on top of Mux and we link to integration guides for all of these. So again, I recommend checking out the docs if you're interested in using one of these platforms. And if you have trouble integrating it into your next application or you just have questions in general, feel free to leave them in the comments below and maybe I'll follow up with another video or a blog post. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.